Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the introduction of my summer project use it up. I'm really excited to put in these products because I've been dying to use some of them and some of them I really need to get some progress on before they go bad. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, I lied. I do want to just mention before we get into the products to subscribe down below if you have not already subscribed to my channel. I just looked at my analytics the past week and 60% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you around. I do post three videos a week. One's a weekly vlog and the other two are Bath and Body Works content, most likely candles, body care, things like that. So if you enjoy that stuff, then you will love my channel. So just go ahead and subscribe down below. And now let's get into the products. Okay, so if you didn't see, I did just end my spring project and I will be carrying over a few items from that, but also refreshing a few other items. So I guess I'll start off with some of the things that I'm gonna keep in from the spring project. And that would be, first off, Confetti Cake Pop in the Body Lotion. I love this one. It has been such a good scent. It is honestly just so like, ooh, gooey vanilla cake. The notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. So here is my progress lines. I actually need to update this because I used it a few times since my last update. Um, so here we are. So it started off in the spring project right here, did this much, and then we're starting it in the summer right about here. So I do have it a little over halfway, um, still full, but this scent is so yummy. It just smells like cake batter. It's delicious. I'm really glad that they came back out with it this summer. Um, I don't think I'm gonna pick it up in any other form. I really like the lotion, but I don't think I needed anything else. But if you don't have it already, they are coming out, or they do already have this out, and it'll probably be like 50% off or something at SAS, so really, really good scent. Another one that I am keeping in the project is a Raspberry Jam Donut in the Body Cream. This one is also a really good scent, but it is nearing on almost two years old. I believe I got this in the summer of 2020 um, at SAS, either in the summer or the winter. So we're reaching about two years and it is pretty yellow. As you can see here, it doesn't smell bad or anything. So that's why I'm really trying to finish it up. But um, it still feels really nice and it still applies really nice. It still smells great. The notes are wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. It really does smell like powdered sugar donut. It has like that amazing, ooey gooey raspberry filling and a beautiful powdered sugar note. It smells really good when I apply it at night after showering. I've been loving this. So we're starting it out right about here. Um, I put it in the spring at almost unused and then I used it this much in the spring. So we're starting it out right about here for the summer, hoping to have it finished up in the next couple of months. Um, this product will go, product, this project for summer will go June, July, and August, probably finishing off maybe mid-August or something. I like to start using, I have dogs down here, you guys, sorry if you hear them. Um, I'll probably start wanting to use fall products in August, so I might start putting in fall products in the last, like, month of this project, but really focusing on those summer scents right now in June and July, and then we'll see where we go in August, but yeah, this project is planning on being three months long. So I'm gonna finish this one up hopefully in the next couple of months. And then some newer stuff that I'm introducing just for the summer, starting off with Margarita Cupcake in the Body Cream. This scent is so delicious. I was using this last summer and I believe, no, I didn't have, I didn't have it in my summer project last year, but I was using it last summer and absolutely adored it. The notes on this one are Key Lime, Sunny Citrus Blossom, and Whipped Vanilla. And it's a really, really cute packaging style. This is from 2021 Summer SAS. So I was using it like right at the end of summer and it is such a good key lime, fresh, fresh citrus scent. It smells amazing. Mm. I think I'm gonna bring this with me on any vacations that I do over the summer because it is like a very good summer citrus scent. Um, it has like a slight bakery note with that whipped vanilla, but it is so yummy. If you guys did not get your hands on this, I really hope they come back out with it this SAS, but it's such a good scent and I really enjoy it in the body cream. It's like my favorite formula of it. it. Smells delicious. Another thing I'm carrying over from the spring is the Strawberry Pound Cake hand lotion. Now this is my last little mini hand lotion that I own, so I'll probably pick some up at SAS. 
Um, but this one is about halfway used, so definitely planning on finishing it in the next like month or so. But I'm actually gonna put in some full-size body lotions in place of not having hand lotions for the summer. So the first one that I'm putting in is actually White Pumpkin and Chai. I know, don't judge me. But um, I really love this scent all year round. And it is such a yummy, yummy, yummy scent. The notes are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. It is such a good scent. And you guys, fall is my favorite season, so I could use this year round. Oh, I do want to mention I did put one of those little pumps you can buy for $2.95 on top of it, just so it'd be easier to use as a hand lotion. And I'm going to leave this on my uh, bathroom sink to use after I wash my hands. So we're starting it out right about here. I actually did not purposely use this as a hand lotion, but I had it on my sink for the past couple of weeks and I made this much prog progress in just a couple of weeks. So I think that I could definitely focus on finishing this before the fall because um, this one is actually two years old and I do have a new pumpkin, uh, white pumpkin and chai from last year, uh, full size that I'm gonna plan on using this fall. So I do wanna get this finished up. Um, it's not gonna go bad in two years, but I definitely wanna try and focus on finishing it. So this will be a hand lotion for now. And then another hand lotion that I'm gonna work on is the Aromatherapy Peppermint Oil Essential Oil Body Lotion. This one is really nice. It's a beautiful peppermint scent. I really have been liking it for the summertime. I've had this on my desk for a little bit and I have already used it. So I've been just finding myself gravitating towards more body lotions as hand creams. So this one actually was right here and then I was using it the past couple of weeks and got this much progress on it. So putting it in the project right here, you can't see that line, but I did mark it. Um, and we're just gonna see how much we can use. So I plan on getting this finished hopefully by the end of the year, just as a hand lotion, not really like focusing on it too hard. Okay, now for the one I'm most excited about, Beach Nights in the Shower Gel. I'm so excited about this one. I just picked it up um, the other day and I used it like two times in the shower already and I really, really like it. It is a very, very good scent. The notes are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. That is a lot of scent notes. Um, this one I would say is not similar to Bonfire Bash, um, which I'm actually putting in the project as a fine fragrance mist, by the way. But um, I would not say it's a similar marshmallow note to Bonfire Bash. I would say it's slightly different because I do get that driftwood and like sea salt breeze. There's like an airy note to here but it's a really, really nice scent and I didn't think I would like a scent like this before. If you haven't smelled it, you need to go in stores and smell it or get get one, one product type of it because I really like it and I think I'm gonna pick it up in more um, versions during SAS when it goes on sale. I think I'm gonna pick up the lotion and probably the fine fragrance mist. But I am so excited to use this and it is pretty much unused at the very top. You can't see inside of this packaging, which I don't know why they would do that, but I do like the packaging. I just thought this would be like the body lotion, not the shower gel, but anyways, I'm excited to use it. it smells really good. It kind of surprised me with how it smells, but I do still like it. So yeah, that's the first shower gel that's going into the project. The next one is actually a Christmas one. Don't ju judge me on this one, okay? This is Christmas cookies and I'm putting it in the project because I have it partially used and I don't really wanna keep anything that I have partially used before in my collection. So I'm gonna try and use this throughout the summer and finish it off maybe into fall even because it's not gonna be my focus one. Really, this one's gonna be my focus one for summer but if I feel like something gourmand and cookie-like, then I'll go for this one. The notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. I wish I had the lotion in this to use this summer because it is really, really yummy and rich. Oh, it is such a good scent. So I'm excited to use this even though it is Christmas themed in the summer because it's just like a nice cookie dough kind of scent. So we'll see how this one goes, but I'm not focusing heavily on it. Just want to get a little bit of progress and we're right about here when we're starting it. The last shower gel that I'm putting in is a mini in copper coconut sands. I like to put in minis every now and then just to like make sure I'm giving myself some gimme products. That's the one thing I would recommend in a project use it up is give yourself some gimmies, whether that is like a half used shower gel or a mini product. This is something that's gonna be easy for you to finish in like a month and you'll see real progress on it quickly. And so it'll make you more motivated. So that's just a little tip from me but copper coconut sands in the mini they don't have the notes on here um but this is unused it's a really yummy scent i just wanted some sort of coconut scent in here because i know i'll be craving it throughout the summer especially when it's super hot so i will focus on this one it'll probably be finished up in the next month but 
just focusing on this one to finish up. Okay, so going back to the Fine Fragrance Mist, I said I'm gonna put in Bonfire Bash, which I'm really excited about. I mean, these two will really go together, um, but not really like I planned it or anything. I think these three actually will be a really good combo, um, just like Vanilla Marshmallow Blast. I don't know, I think I'll do a shower routine with that actually, because that sounds really yummy. But yeah, Bonfire Bash is going into the project. The notes on this are Vanilla Bourbon, Vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. This one smells so yummy. It is a really, really nice, sophisticated, like a level up from warm vanilla sugar, kind of. It is a rich um, marshmallow scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It is such a good, good scent. I think that vanilla bourbon gives it like a level up from just being marshmallow or vanilla. Um, it gives it kind of a little bit more grown upness. It still kind of smells like Little Kitty, but I like those kinds of scents, so that's fine by me. Um, I actually had this in the body lotion last year during summer, and it was amazing on my body during the summertime because that lotion, when it heated up on my skin, it just smelled so delicious. I was constantly getting compliments on it. So I do have this fine fragrance mist. I think this is from 2020. Yeah, I think it's from 2020. So this one is a little older. Definitely want to get some progress on it. I know I'm not going to finish it. I takes so long to use up fragrance mist it's really sad but i definitely want to get some progress on it and enjoy it um so this one's pretty much unused i probably use it a few times but i'm really going to focus on it and maybe even carry it into the fall we'll see how much i like it but that's the first fine fragrance mist and then the next one that i'm going to put in is coconut cream pie in the mini oh my god i'm so excited for this one i picked this up actually at the last winter sas in 2021 it is such a good scent. I love this scent in coconut cream pie. Mm, it is so yummy. I don't have the notes on me, but I think it's like some sort of caramel custard, coconut pie, pie crust thing. It just smells absolutely amazing. And I think this will be a really good one to pair with not only the copper coconut sands, but also the Christmas cookies, like a little bit of gourmand in there. So I think that this one will be a really good one to use when I wanna get like super like caramely coconutty gourmand and then this one like a more vanilla kind of take on things okay sticking with fragrance i'm gonna talk about a few perfumes that i'm gonna introduce to the project so this one i'm carrying over from the spring project and that is mary Kay's winter wishes this is a super old perfume probably from like 2013 i dug this out of like one of my old backpacks from school and it's a really nostalgic scent it is a great scent it's kind of like a berry scent it almost reminds me of um it almost reminds me of winterberry wonder um because it has that like berry cranberry raspberry i don't know what to call it like a fresh scent and it's so yummy so here's the progress this is where i'm at right now and i probably can get this finished by the end of the summer so I'm gonna be focusing on that one okay the next couple ones are from mix bar and they're just like little minis i got them in a little travel size set from marshall's or it was TJ Maxx actually. And this one I've had in my spring project for the last month. This is number number nine, Vanilla Bourbon. It's a really, really yummy scent. I'm about right here. I could definitely finish this up in a week if I just focused on it. So I'm gonna try and finish this one up, but it smells delicious. I'm gonna spray it right now actually. Um, and I kind of want it in the full size. It's really yummy. Mm, very good. I think this actually smells really similar to Bonfire Bash. Like this could be the perfume version of Bonfire Bash now that I smell them together. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's so good. Okay, so yeah, those two will go really great together and I'll focus on finishing that one up. And then also from the mix bar, I have a number six Tangerine Squeeze, which I feel like if I'm gonna use this any time of year, it's gonna be in the summer. So this one is unused, it's right up here and I'm just gonna focus on finishing it. Actually, I've never sprayed this, so let's see how it smells. That's not how I expected it to smell, but it smells like an orange peel. That's pretty yummy. Okay, I can definitely see me liking this like for beach days, pool days, stuff where I'm gonna be out in the sun. This smells really good. Okay, and the last things I'm gonna add into the project are these two body scrubs, which I did actually have in the spring. I'm just carrying them over. But the first one is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. This one is a really good scent. I've used it just a tad. I've probably used it five or six times but really want to focus on this it is a great mango scent for summer it's like super refreshing in the shower and it's gentle so i can use it pretty much every single day if i want to 
but probably more like every other day. That's typically when I use body scrubs. So that's where this one's at. And then the other one I've had in for quite some time, it's the Onyx Bathhouse Foaming Body Scrub in Dim Buns Dough. It's basically a cinnamon sugar kind of scent. It smells really great. It just smells like straight up cinnamon, but I do have about half of it used. And actually, let me know down below, should I save this for fall? Because me smelling it right now, it just smells like straight up sugar. I mean, straight up cinnamon and brown sugar. And it's kind of making me think of fall. No, I shouldn't save it. Oh my God, it smells so good though. But it's like a super coarse scrub, so I can only really use this like once a month. I'm sorry, once a week when I shave and that's probably about as much as I could do with this one. Okay, well that is everything for my summer project ease it up introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did put like a tad more products than I usually put in just because I'm focusing like long term what do I want to have finished up before fall because if you guys don't know I am obsessed with fall and I usually buy the most scents in fall and winter so I want to get my collection down to a size that I'm comfortable with before fall comes around and I start wanting to buy those products. So this is really gonna be the focus for me for the next couple of months, try and clear my collection out of everything that is not um, necessary to keep before fall comes around. So yeah, that's my uh, thought process going into this project, use it up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, let me know down below, let me know what scents you're gravitating towards for summer, what scents you're thinking of buying at SAS. I really wanna know. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.